Welcome to our daily horrors. I'm Economicon, and today we're going to be playing through the game Leany Boo, where an uninvited guest comes knocking at our windows. Can we keep him out? Hello? It is very, very quiet here. Inspect the office. Okay, well, I can inspect the fact that I am being inspected by someone else. Hmm, I don't think I can read that, but I can tell that's three zeros. Anyway, I think I've expected the office enough. Can I expect the rest of the building? Ah, very nice painting. A wide landscape. Wait, what do you interact with? Oh, there's more doors. I see. I thought I was just interacting with the wall then. Very confused. Hmm. Why am I the only one in the office, I wonder? Wait, is that one two on four? Two on four to 56. 130 over 18. I'm going to just pretend I know what that means. Yes, I am very knowledgeable in the mathematics department. I know what all those numbers mean. Now what they're used for, I have no idea. But I do know of their existence, which is the main thing, I think. So there's something in particular I've come to look for. Hello? Has this suddenly got even more grainy than it was before? Did I go the wrong way? Should I have gone this way? Well, no, that game just says no to that direction. Okay, well, I'm going back to my office. I have looked around the entire building. Wait. Hey, there's a noise. Is it bad that I can't particularly hear a noise? Um. Is it fine? Oh, no. See, I know you have to rely on noise a lot in this game, and that's going to be kind of concerning, because I have absolutely... No sound location ability at all. Oh, hello, Lady Week. Oh, run! That is highly probably a good idea. I'm gonna run back to my office. Yes! Thank you for closing the door behind me. I appreciate it. Was that picture always there? I don't remember it. Okay, everything is just how I, it's just how I left it. Very, very good. Oh! He got inside. I'd be deaded. I can't read this. Not so long ago, we received information that shortly before his disappearance, Subject 88 visited his relatives in the vicinity of New Garage. According to our data, Subject 88 left a certain envelope in the house, the contents of which are still considered unknown. In addition, we learned that the attacker who committed the brutal murder of a security guard in the archive last week stole data about this house. Probably the attacker is also looking for the sample of. Wait, so I actually did die in that facility? How to play? Your task is to listen carefully to which part of the house the monster is running to, so that you can close the window in time. Okay, we're going to struggle with this so badly. I have no kind of noise, sound, depth perception. At all. Um... Uh huh. Well, I can, I can, I can do it as soon as you're right. No! I clicked A. How did I die so quickly? What do you mean I am dead? I clicked E. I think there's some tomfoolery going on here. Oh. Oh, I need to hold down the E key. Wait. Oh, that wasn't here, that was here, that was here. Where? Oh no. Oh no, where was that one? Hi! Wait, I'm coming! I'm coming! Hi! There we go. Okay, that's closed, right? I don't hear a thing. Okay, did you go this way? Oh no. Wait, that sounds like it's over here again. Yes! Yes, I actually figured this one out. Is it closed again? There it is. Oh no. This is not a good aim to have no sound perception. Oh no. Is that over here? I'm gonna hope that was here. No. 
Oh, uh, I think you've walked somewhere. Where did you walk to? Did he open something? Hello? Oh no! Is it? Oh, upstairs! Are you inside the house? Leany Boog? Leany Boog, did you get inside? I have... Hey! Oh! Oh no! I, I think he's already inside. Hi there! Okay, we're gonna concentrate, we're gonna listen intently. Yes! I followed you this time! You gone yet? You can wait outside this window all you like. And actually, it'll make my job a lot easier if you're just standing by the one window. I thought I'd lost you for a second there, friend. Don't scare me like that! Oh no. I have my headphones ridiculously high. I never have my headphones this high. My headphones are literally on 50 of 100. That's how intently I'm listening. No, that was over here. Hi, uh, you almost got me that time, friend. I swear, if I die now, I'm gonna be deafened. Oh, he's groaning. Uh huh. You know? Wait, what are you breaking? Stop breaking things, Lenny Book. Come on. Come on! I can stand here all day, Leany. Please. There we are. What? Wait, where was that? Ah, that was here! That was right here! Hi, friend. I am very grateful you're just staying on this floor. Yes, I see you. Well, actually, I don't, but I see the window. I'm very surprised he's not gone upstairs yet. Hi. Don't you look adorable with your head tilt, but uh, no offense, you're not allowed in. I have a new boog policy, I'm afraid. Me, I don't make the rules. I think that was him going upstairs. I heard you stomping up those stairs, Leany Boog. There we are. How much time have I got left? Oh, I've still got three minutes. Oh, no. Is that him going back downstairs? That's him coming back up, right? I have no idea where he is. I have no idea. I have no, no idea where he is. Uh huh. Oh, thank God I did not go back downstairs.
Oh no. Okay, so the hollowy sound, that's when he's upstairs, right? So it's not him going up and down the stairs, it's literally just him on that floor. That sound. Oh my god, I've never concentrated this hard in my life. Especially to sounds. Oh no. I'm terribly sorry if this is not being entertaining for you, but I'm finding it very hard to talk right now. I am very tense. Yes! Oh, that was a perfect place for me to wait. What are you- what do you keep breaking? Come on. Come on. I should just stay here for a minute, please. Yeah, just hang out here. We can chat. We can talk about life. What's it like being a boog? I went over here. I was in fact correct! Oh, come on, we, we've got literally half a minute. I can stand here for half a minute, maybe? I wouldn't pick us inside, but it, he doesn't find me. Do I still win? Okay. Music. You're making it very hard for me to hear anything. If they get sick because I can't hear a thing, I- Okay, yes, come on, calm down! Did I win? I lived, I think. Take that, you boog! According to our data, the son and father of Subject 88 live in this house. The father is currently away. As everyone knows, representatives of the Brevis Homo race have a small stature. Thanks to which the son of Subject 88 managed to leave without leaving any traces. After a search of the house, the same prints were found as in the infamous archive. Apparently it was the same killer. After analyzing the phone calls, we found out that a certain citizen living in the Artacticon district called this house the other day, before our arrival. It was clear from the style of communication that they knew each other. They were talking about the same envelope that Subject 88 left. At the end of the conversation, they agreed to meet. Okay, so... Find number 17. So do I just need to go find the apartment? I don't need to find his box? Okay. Am I gonna die looking for apartment 17? Somebody already gonna be here. Okay, so apartment 17 stands to reason that should be on this floor, yes? I mean, all the teens should be on- Mike, correct? Wait, 15! 11. Do I need to get past here? There's 16. 12. Hi, Leanyboog! I think I'm in the wrong place. Would you mind if I sneak past you so I can go upstairs? Hi there. I can head tilt too. <gasps> oh, Ladybug. I wanted to make friends with you. I mean, I know you're probably upset with me because I kept you out of the apartment. But you have to understand. You seem to be trying to kill me. Yeah, so I found the apartment. Maybe I should barricade myself in. I have a feeling Mr. Boog is not going to give up very easily. That's one, two, three. Hello? Buddy, can you hear me? Hello? I hope so. I apologize for not being able to meet you in person. I have my own reasons for this. I really hope you have the envelope. Your father risked everything to prevent this envelope from falling into the hands of the Collectionarium. Or even worse, into the hands of the creature that is now on your tail. Don't worry. 
He won't be able to get into this apartment. I've taken care of that. The most important thing to remember is one thing. Do not open the envelope in any case. This can lead to sad consequences not only for you, but also for everyone around you. We have too little time. I have no right to detain you. Take this walkie-talkie. I'll help you from time to time. You know? I really want to open the envelope. Yeah, I've took the walkie-talkie. You can find a train ticket in the next room. It will take you to the right place. When you arrive at your destination, I'll contact you again. Take the tickets from the table. I mean, um, believe it or not, I'm attempting to, but where exactly is it? I really want to open with the envelope. Ah, I can now enter this room. Oh. Oh, this. How young am I anyway? Because I feel incredibly tiny. Ah, you even got some snapshots of him. How adorable. Hello, Mr. Boo. room first. Should I, at this point, maybe I should just change compartments. Maybe I should go through there. Probably some of the people to hang with. I mean, I'm never going to get killed in a group, right? That way I've got sacrifices. I trust nothing. Okay, that's him outside. Leenyboog, are you here? Are you coming through my window, Leenyboog? You are! You are, in fact, coming through my window. Goodbye. Actually, at this point, we just need to spring trap that window. Catch him, get him stuck! Then I can just hide in a different compartment while he's struggling. Have you never seen Home Alone? We must booby trap! Oh, I've still got a lot, a lot of seconds. Feels like I've barely done any time at all. This is quite concerning. Sounds like he's right outside my door. I knew it! Go away! Nope, I can hold this door all day! I have found this one key. There we are. He's gone from my window now, hasn't he? No, he's not. I knew it! You tried to fool me, but no. I refuse to be fooled by the likes of you, Mr. Boog. Okay, now he's definitely going for the window. He's 100% going to go for that window. And he's there! No. And now! Why would I say now in the middle of him just walking? Of course he's not there yet. But he will be now! Okay, as soon as the lights come on, he's gonna be there! Hello, Mr. Boog. Okay, wait. No, Mr. Boog. You're really ruining... You ruined my really awesome moment there. How dare you, Mr. Boog! I was trying to time that perfectly, but now you've come back inside the compartment. Were you just trying to ruin my fun, Mr. Boog? Just trying to spook me. Stomping around outside. Not really doing anything at all. What is your game, Mr. Boog? I really don't know what you're trying to do, Mr. Boog. You seem to be stomping here and stomping there and not really achieving anything at all. I mean, 
Sure, this might actually be making it easier for me, but now I'm just so on edge because you're not actually attacking me at all, that I'm very concerned. Uh-huh! Living! Goodbye, Mr. Borg! Thank you for wasting 200 seconds, I very much appreciate it. Now, could you possibly waste 200 more by stomping up and down the floors? This one. I don't feel like this is the very safe one to go into, considering he just appeared next door. At least go a couple down, maybe. Okay, it's fine. We're down to three minutes. We can do this, right? Right? You believe in me, don't you, Mr. Boog? That is why you're struggling to attack me, clearly. He is definitely still outside, right? Nope. Okay, now that's the window part. Maybe that's still the window. Nope, that's the hallway. Hello, Mr. Boog. I've been expecting you. Oh no, I think I scared him off. No, I did not! Go away, Mr. Borg! I do not want to be confronted with the consequences of my mocking. Thank you very much. Oh, two minutes! We can do this. All I've got to do is find the right layer to correspond with the key it requires. It's more difficult than you think. I struggle. I struggle a lot in life in general, to be perfectly honest, but with letters in particular. I think that's the hallway still. That's definitely the hallway. Just making sure I wasn't mishearing. Ah, cursed light. Now I'm extra paranoid because I can't see my timing. That sounds like the window. It was, in fact, the window. Goodbye, Mr. Boog. You know. For a creepy monster, you've got a very nice name. I do so enjoy saying Mr. Boog. I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone who watches this video is going to hate the name Mr. Boog after I'm done, just for the amount of times I'm going to be repeating it. I regret nothing. I'm under a minute! Oh, thank God. I may actually survive this. That's the hallway. I swear, if you give me a T now and I click R, I am going to cry. It's going to happen. Mr. Boog, is that you? Are you coming for tea, Mr. Boog? I'm afraid I don't- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Why did I have to turn as soon as he was starting to open the door? Okay, 20 seconds. I can survive the 20 seconds, right? He's gonna- Oh, no, man. Nice drop! Are you kidding me? The entire round, you had opening the door as F until the last second when I was 20 seconds from winning, and you changed it to T. What? You would never ask for any other letter than F. Never. Why would you do that game? Why? I was 20 seconds. 20 seconds, game. Okay. Which door first, huh? You know, if we're so sure that Mr. Boog is going to attack this door, why? Why do we insist on staying in these doors? Why do we not find other doors? Okay. 400 seconds. We can do this. I don't hear anything. Ah, oh, there it is. It sounds like it's outside that one. Nope, he's came inside. Hi, Mr. Boog. I found the key, Mr. Boog. I'm afraid you can't come in. It's just a compartment for one, I'm afraid. Compartment uno. I'm afraid I do not have sufficient snacks to share with you, Mr. Boog. And I cannot become a snack either. That definitely sounds like the window. Is that the window, Mr. Boog? If I shout Markham. 
Oh gosh. No, I can't even see. Marco, Mr. Wolf, you have to play this game. Why must you keep destroying the light, Mr. Boog? Would you not wish me to see your glorious face? Are you saying... Oh... Am I giving you a complex because I keep shutting the door on your glorious face? I do apologize, Mr. Boog, but I do not wish to be consumed. Okay, that's definitely over here. Compartment. You are not allowed entrance, Mr. Boog. I'll have you know I paid for this myself. I did want a private dwelling. In fact, five private dwellings. That's what I required. Hello? I see you've returned to the outside world, Mr. Boog. Nope, you've... You're just trying to play tricks on me, Mr. Boog, aren't you? It won't work. You see, I am very, very quick to find keys, occasionally. Now, if it's the right key, that's a different matter. Yes, you stomp off in a strop, Mr. Boog. I am quite enjoying my compartment and my lonesome. Oh, curses! Oh, that concerned me. Why did I have to turn away? I suppose this is what I deserve for being mocking. I regret nothing, Mr. Boog. Are you still out there? Well, you stand out there for hours if you don't mind. Helps me. I'm being concerned that he's... Oh, okay, he's gone. Oh, I, I just... I, I thought he'd already gone and he's going to come through the window or something. Okay, that's definitely the window sound. Hi, Mr. Boog. I'm going to leave now, Mr. Boog. I think this is my first part compartment change, right? I don't know why I insist on calling them apartments. I know they're not. My brain knows the correct word. My brain just refuses to use the correct word. Come on. Under three minutes, we can do this. That's outside. Are you going to make me swap compartments again, Mr. Boog? I just survived this one. No. Hello? Hello out there. Oh. You do like to put me in the dark, Mr. Boog. Hmm. You're definitely running up and down this floor, aren't you? Oh, car says, why? Why do you insist on opening the door every time I go to look at the window? Why do you do this, Mr. Boog? Why must you hurt me like this? Am I not stressed enough for you? I've got some super secret letter that I'm not supposed to open that I really want to open. And here I am being terrorized by a boog. That sounds like the window. Yep, still sounds like the window. I was correct for it to sound like the window, because it was in fact the window. Farewell, Mr. Boog. How about we go to like the very end one? And get very, very far away from the boog. Or you know, we can just go back into the one right next to where he was. I'm sure that works just as well. Far be it for me to question the logic of this scenario. You know, if you could actually protect the apartment so we wouldn't be able to get in, why can't you protect one train cart for me? Anyone would think you wish for him to catch me. That sounds like he's at the window again. Oh, come on, I'm down to a minute. I can do this, potentially. Probably not, but still. That's the window still. Yes, yeah, still window. Yes, we're under a minute. Uh, that is, that is that. Hi, Mr. Boog. You are very swift on your feet. I think that was the window. I, I'm like 50% certain that was the window. 
Oh yeah, now I'm, now I'm higher. Now I'm like 90%. Oh, oh, the music is changing again. Oh no. Hi, Mr. Boo. Can you possibly just hang around for 20 more seconds? Can you possibly not try and enter this apartment? Please? I have only got 10 seconds left. I just... Oh, it's literally 10 seconds. Can you possibly not attempt to enter this? Come on. Just stay outside. Oh, curses. Uh, curses. Live! Have I won? Countdown! Yes! We did it! Okay, so wait, where am Check I now? Three, two, one. Hello? There's a security post to your right. Yes? The door should open soon. Okay. What, what do I do until it opens? Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to make me get chased or something. Am I protected in here? I still feel incredibly tiny. Do you see the generator? Oh, this thing? Activating it will open a large gate. There won't be anyone inside. Are you I've sure? taken care of that. We can only hope that this creature has lost you. So, the drawings indicate that four generators will be waiting for you inside. After they are turned on, the gate to the disintegration room will open. You'll have to take this envelope there. And... After you go inside, I won't be able to help you anymore. You'll have to do everything yourself. The main thing is, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Good luck, buddy. I have a question. How exactly have you been helping me before? How have I not been doing this entire game by myself? That was a bad sound. <laughs> do, I, do I just keep pressing it? Take the large flashlight. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Okay. Is this flashlight on? This doesn't seem to be on, but okay. We'll just go with it anyway. Hi, uh, is this where I'm entering? How to play. Your task is to activate four generators. After their activation, the big doors will open. The only way to survive when encountering the monster is to shine a flashlight in his face. To turn on the flashlight, hold down the F key. If you release the flashlight button before turning it on, it will temporarily fail. To sprint, hold down the shift key. Okay, so run around like a headless chicken looking for this generator. And after that, shine a bright light into the monster's eyes. So, I'm, 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 um, I don't know what that was. I don't even ask. Oh, yes, I was going to say, I was zooming. What I'm going to look for is the same thing that I'd already found, right? How? Will I know when he's close? How will I have any idea when he's about to attack me? Oh, is that is, is that sound indicative of me about to get attacked? Hello? It sounds like you're close by. Is he gonna be coming through the vents? Oh no. Oh! Mr. <laughs> he runs fast! Okay, four generators. That is all that we need. We can find four generators, right? Well, that is one. You know what game? Oh, that is too delightful. You know what game I would really like to see? I would want to see a sequel to Mr. Boog. That involved me a finding Mr. Boog and introducing him to a sledgehammer. I feel that like that would be a great game. A very therapeutic game for me, in fact. If I could go give him an old bonk to the noggin. I 
feel like that would make me feel so much better about, you know, life in general. About this game, in fact. About many things, actually. I could just hit him in the face with a sledgehammer repeatedly. Right now, in fact, yes. You run away before you find a sledgehammer. Okay, so we've got two so far. Can I possibly, possibly find two more, please? I need two more things. Preferably in this room here, if you don't mind. Oh, that's a three one. Nice. Can I, oh, please give me the four. Please give me the four. Please, 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 please. please. I'm begging you. <gasps> Game. Game, you have spoiled me. Close this door. We're gonna wait here for him. And then we're gonna shine a light on him. Then we're gonna go run find this door. Come on. Come on, I am so tense right now. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We can find, we can do this, please. Please! Oh. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Oh, yes! Flee! Run away! Okay, now the question is, where are the doors that I need to go to? Oh, my heart is beating so unbelievably fast. Oh, no. Where, where are these doors that I need? Can I please get to these doors before he finds me again? Please, game, I'm begging you. I am physically... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I don't think it's down here. Oh, no. Gabe, you're speeding up the moves like this. It's not helping me. Actually, it might be making me feel worse. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't know where these doors are. I don't know where these doors are. Would it be worth me waiting up here once more, shining my light on him, and then going for another look? Because I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going. I, and I ran out of... Sp I found out a sprint. Oh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I'm gonna regret losing, leaving my safe haven. So he's gonna growl at me any minute now. It's gonna cause me issues. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know where I'm going. Oh no, but I've got four, four generators. I've got all four. Please, 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 please. <gasps> doors, 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 doors. Oh, please, please be where I'm supposed to be going. Please, this looks so good, please. Oh, have I made it? Have I done a good thing? Did I, did I survive? Did I live? Oh, did I get ridiculously lucky with my generate? Oh. Hi, Mr. Borg. Have I still got my flashlight? Uh, yeah, last time. Well, nope, nope, no, I'm not. So, you can go away now. Nope. No, I said nothing. Goodbye. There we are, Mr. B oh. Wait. I'm your younger brother. Well, that's unfortunate. Like you didn't, Mr. Boog. Wait. Is that eyes behind you? I mean, great now, but how many boogs are behind you? Wait, do I have an option? Is there two different endings then? I'm gonna go with you, simply because I want to get close enough to you to bonk you on the noggin. Wait, I don't... Oh, I do have a choice. Okay, so I'm gonna go with you because I want to bonk you on the noggin. Come along. Hello. Did I make a good choice? But did he kill me regardless? Mr. Boog! You lied to me! 
All I wanted to do was bonk you on the noggin with a sledgehammer. Why is that so bad, Mr. Boog? I feel I've earned it. Wait. Wait, blue eyes? Is that because you just consumed me, Mr. Boog? Oh, he, oh, he just wants a cuddle. Wait, so is there a second ender? I'm gonna go see if I can go back, and if there is. Okay, we're back, and this time, no, we are not choosing the boob. I refuse. No, I am leaving. Goodbye, Mr. Boog. You wouldn't attack me when my back is turned, right? I don't know if I can trust him. But anyway, we are not going with the Boog. We are going this way. To a certain... Okay, well, this path seems to be magically forming in front of me. I'm sure I can trust this. I'm sure it's not going to collapse underneath me. They're not leading me to another ending pit of blackness, right? Hello? Oh, I've made it. Father! Father, is that you? I have made it! Oh, Father, what long hands you have! Oh, Father, what a flat face you have! Father, you seem to be missing your nose! Father's Mr. Boog! Did I die? I looked like he wanted to eat me. You were the person died because of your fault. This boy died a great death. You know that he wouldn't come back from there alive. This is the price of victory. Now you see, the world will see the truth. Well, I had. I guess I'm wrong. Hello, Mr. Boog. You've never been so wrong before. Oh, Mr. Boog. You've underestimated how wrong I've been. So wait, is our dad Mr. Boog? And did our dad eat us in the end? I suddenly felt like I died. Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Leany Boo. Good to say, I really want there to be a sequel, and I want that sequel to involve sledgehammers and bonking. I need to bonk a sledgehammer. Nope, nope, that's not what I need to do. I need to bonk Mr. Boo with the sledgehammer, that's what I need to do. As always, if you want to check out the game, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed your time here, then please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, or maybe check out my side channel where I focus on horror narrative games. But other than that, hey, have a spooky day, and I'll catch you next time, guys.